this time we're going to show you the maths wheel. So the maths wheel comes with an instruction card that's going to have everything that I'm going to say now um, with some pictures as well so that you can follow along. So we'll take the maths wheel out of the box and the first thing you'll notice is that it comes with a cord. You don't have to use this particular cord. Uh, you can use rubber bands if you prefer or any other uh, wool or yarn or string that you have. Um, this is actually my daughter's wheel so we've already put a knot in the end because she prefers to just be able to hook on. Uh, the numbers go from one round to zero. This is because the geometric patterns that are made when you do the tables in this arrangement are really, um, I think, really stunningly beautiful. And I think that really resonates with children um, because they see the beauty in everything. And my daughter this morning had a real aha moment of, ah, so the threes make this pattern and the ones just go around the edge. And it was really uh, wonderful to see. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the times tables rounds and the, the way to remember how it works, it's really simple. Um, it goes from one to nine, obviously. And then when you reach zero, you just add a unit of 10 in front of the number that you're then going around. So it would go two, four, six, eight, and this would become 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And then that would be the same for any of the tables. I'll do the twos just to show you the pattern it makes, first of all. Uh, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And we can already see it's this beautiful polygon. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And you could carry on then and use the rest of the thread to go all the way up as high as you like counting in twos. Um, the other thing that's very useful when you're doing this with children, if they're completely new to the times tables, is um, the, and this is something that my oldest daughter uh, would do with the maths wheels that she had, she would count on, so she would go two and then one, two. Oh, okay, so it's four. And then one, two. Oh, okay, so it's six. And she would actually do that in order to work out a tables that she didn't know the pattern of. So if I show you threes, so three, six, nine, and she might know that high, but then not know where to go next. So she might just say one, two, three. Oh, okay, I can see that's in position. 12 then because we've gone around once we've added a, a one unit or a unit of 10 in front of that and then she would go one two three 15 got it okay one two three that's 18 got that one one two three 21 brilliant and then she'd carry on going up 24 27 30 33 and then all of a sudden you would see this beautiful pattern appear and I think sometimes they just like to kind of wonder at that because it's the this is the the very stuff that makes our world so beautiful isn't it all of the flowers um, and infinity spirals and I think it's fine to just let children sit with that we don't have to bring attention to it or do any more um, than just have them witness it and it really helps then the knowledge become very real I think the other thing that my youngest daughter did much to our surprise was that she just started spontaneously doing the number bonds um so she drew these patterns that were all of the number bonds and it was really cool to see her have a physical way to interact with the numbers so lots of different numbers but i hope that explains the basic principle of how you're counting the times tables and hopefully we'll do a few other uh, videos with my children um, maybe singing some of the tables if I can um, have them do that. Uh, okay thanks very much for watching and see you again.